episode one. Actually. With the, you know, actually episode two. One A. B. Yeah, where are we going? One. C. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> That's good comedy. Yeah, goddamn. Well, uh, this is uh, episode one of our uh, podcast sessions. We're going to be uh, discussing a bunch of stuff, you know, about our day to days and our. Uh, Updates on Reficle and, you know, stuff. But on this first one, we'll uh, just give you a little brief history about Reficle and uh, how we met up with uh, Lord Madus. Basically, uh, Reficle started in 2003 in L.A. Uh, started with Lord Wolf. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> started with Lord Wolf and myself on guitar uh, back in high school, you know, doing all kinds of crazy, stupid nonsense. Then we met up with, uh, you know... Lord Matthias in high school. Who was the drummer? Who was the drummer? He played drums, um, if you call it that. And uh, then we uh, actually I met Amber in 2004. She lived across the street from me. Little did he know we'd be married. You don't married. I don't even know what that means. Isn't that religious, right? I don't do that. Well, we had a thing. We have a. I guess you would call it. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, yeah. So she became a uh, vocalist. You know, opera vocals or whatever, if you call it that. And uh, harmonies. Harmonies. Then, uh, yeah, we went into the studio. Wait, I'm skipping someone. There's someone missing out of that. What's his name? Fagus Americas. Fag I mean Magus Americas is someone we met God damn it. Again. <laughs> he was uh, in two thousand five. Um, <laughs> we met him in uh, two thousand five. Well actually I knew him before that. He was a friend of ours in high school, but we he joined forces with Reptical in two thousand five and we went into the studio to record the Call in the Dark uh E P and met uh, up with a guy named Duke who did the Duke who did the keyboard tracks. You know, we awesome. sat down with him and he, you know, he came up with it through music theory and discussing it with us and just basically followed the root notes, enhancing everything. As you can tell, it's kind of basic but awesome at the same time. And then uh, it was recorded and produced by Mike Masters and uh, also Kiki. She did a That's little right. bit of stuff on there. I don't the one what everybody was trying to hit on. Yeah, and uh, it never got mixed or mastered. Yeah, it never got mixed or mastered because there was a lack of funding and management and stuff. So there was kind of a fall through with our label at the time, Music uh, from the Shadows. Uh, and a fall through with the bandmates and as the well. bandmates as well. We lived in a house together. And uh, yeah, just a lot of hatred and yeah, a lot of malcontent. A lot of, uh, I guess you could say, rituals <laughs> performed on each other. You know what's good about this, though? Actually more so on their part than ours. Oh, yep. that was cool. That's funny, and uh, yeah, so it never got finished. It turned out to be a three-song EP, which we actually had more songs to put on there, but uh, you know that obviously fell through. So tracking got cut short, and uh, an EP yeah, be an became an EP instead of a full LP, and it's now the piece of shit that it is today, which we don't own the rights to, and uh, yeah, we basically can just sell it. And that's it. We can't really actually get it, mix it, master it, do what we want with it. So mm, we've moved forward. That's where my argument comes in we have area. moved forward, I think, a lot. What? We've moved forward a lot. Well, yeah, we had a minimalist mentality back then because we were with people who thought that was the best we could do. That was, you know, the <laughs> grandest you could achieve. And really, it wasn't anything at all. It was kindergarten at that stage. And to think that we knew what we were doing was kind of pretentious and fucking retarded to be blunt. True. Tell your kind of side when you came into it there, Amber, and I'll express serving the night. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I'm not... I don't know. Matt seems to sound a little ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm ashamed of the them. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, a lot of empty promises. Didn't want to move forward. Had a lot of opportunities that weren't taken that should have been taken. But, I mean, I don't have any regrets or anything like that. It was fun, you know. It no, this has been awesome. No, and we moved out to Olympia before setting up shop in uh, Vancouver again. Uh, basically, met Lord Madus through some guy named Pete. He came up uh, 
introduced himself at a... Tell the story of how you got into the shitty band. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got into the shitty band. Well, I'll get... Yeah. So, I put an ad out on Craigslist. I get here. I put an ad on, on Craigslist. I meet up with this band. They're called Blood Eagle. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> God damn, what a name. And, um... <laughs> Yeah, we and it went nowhere basically. So we changed the name to Fires of the Imperium, and um, still went nowhere. Still went nowhere. We played a few shows around Olympia. It went to their heads. They got all like hyped and thought they were rock stars and shit. And I, I f- went crazy after a few shows. I was just like, you know what? This is nothing. This is worthless. So, you know, I'm, as I'm bitching, you know, about it, some uh, guy Matt was comes being out, Matt. and uh, he's just like, hey, you know, you want to do it. And I was just like, hey, you know, if I had a drummer, basically, uh, you know, I could get Reficle back up and go and we'd be like kicking ass again and shit. And because um, I didn't really feel like programming the drums or anything. I want, you know, I want authenticity and shit. I want to fucking, we all want to kick ass. So, well, you've always been very passionate about having yeah, your that own aside, band. I mean, really, I didn't want, I didn't want to use fucking you know whatever program drums so he gives me this uh number he's like hey i got this uh number number this drummer blah blah, blah. you should uh, check him out he's uh fucking really awesome you whatever and i was like okay so after two weeks of sitting on the number and pacing and deciding <laughs> if i'm gonna call this guy if he's I, a psycho killer yeah, or he's not kill me rape me stab me if this is a ploy to rob me <laughs> uh, oh yeah that him. actually went through your head too like craigslist style yeah craigslist style like i was like uh, this is i don't know and That's pretty I'm funny that you could actually <laughs> coin that vernacular at this point. Craigslist style. Dude. Uh-huh. Well, and anyways. I just, and I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give him a call. What's the worst that you know, could happen? Fuck True. it. I'll die. This is worth it. Let's do it. And uh, give him a call. And uh, he was a pretty cool guy. You know, an hour into the conversation, decided we're going to meet up. Meet up, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you have to down to go Let's go down to the bear bar. Coffee. Oh my god. The fucking black circle. <laughs> Fulfill the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm sitting here in my house um, post my traumatic experiences of the last few years of being a victim of brainwashing and downright almost kidnapping. Just, you know, somebody stealing my mail and getting rid of it so I don't find like notices of you know, you're overdue on your bills, blah, 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 uh, things like that. I had no idea he was that fucked up. Oh, yeah, he, so he, he deleted emails from PayPal and eBay, noticing, notifying me that there's fraudulent charges and shit. Jeez. <coughs> so, <laughs> so he deleted those emails, so I never found out about it until it was already too late, and I'm now I'm being taken to collection over it. Yeah. But anyways, in the aftermath of that, and still having one bum kind of yochin off me as we've explained in a previous past incarnation of possibility that uh, yoching is basically <laughs> a word that's kind of an amalgam of a mooch and Yoch. and a squatting bum that wants to crash on your living room couch <laughs> <laughs> so they're like friends of yours in the sense that they're a mooch <laughs> but they're also complete scumbags that want a free ride and you can't afford them to be here but they do it anyway you know when someone's like a scumbag to that extent where even though they know it's costing you greatly having them there they still don't give a shit you got to kick them their ass to the side. But needless to say, I'm sitting in my house with my final scumbag, final yoach, and the phone rings. So I go and I think, should I answer it? It's probably just a telemarketer or a bill collector. That's awesome. And I stood there, That's literally. Funny. I looked at S- That's Scott. That's a telemarketer, all right. <laughs> I looked at Scott. Right. I looked at Scott and I said, you think I should answer her? He's like, shit, why not? You can always hang up. And he's like, yeah, true, fuck it. So I picked up the phone. And this low-speaking guy on the other end. This low-speaking guy. This low-speaking <laughs> guy. He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, I was like, well, who the hell's on the phone here? Some sort of weird character. <laughs> hey, I'm going to yeah, buddy your brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to buddy your brain, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, <laughs> some low-speaking low grizzly tone guy. Some low-speaking, low-grizzly tone guy. like, yeah, yeah, is this Christian? Uh, God damn is that it. Christian? I was like, yeah, this is Christian. What's up? Blah, 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 blah. And we just started talking, you know, I'm trying to find some band members and stuff and blah, just kind of real, you know, taking it one little tiny baby step at a time in the conversation, making a little small talk, push a little band, make a little small talk, push a little band. And I told him right away, well, you know, I swore to myself I would never join another band ever again. 